So I just wanted to give you a quick update on the kitchen situation. And uh, as you'll know from the previous video, we've got the cabinets in and uh, we've got this temporary worktop going on. And as I said, we've decided to go for the same um, cooker hob with the two ring burner and the sink as we've got in the motorhome. Now, <laughs> we cooked dinner last night and uh, we just uh, just sort of left a couple of pans on there and left the, left the glass lids up. And we were sitting way down the other end, down there. Uh, sorry about the cameras in the way. Down there um, on the sofa. And all of a sudden, we heard bang, crash, oh, all sorts of nonsense going on. And <clears throat> sort of couldn't really work out what it was. Well, <laughs> just spontaneously, the glass lid that's supposed to be here, like this one, just went and smashed. It just shattered into those little... Um, glass beads as it were um for no reason whatsoever as far as we can tell it was just it was just up there was nothing nothing on it nothing banging against it the boat wasn't moving nothing banged into us nothing fell down it just went and just out of the blue smashed now apart from that which is a right pain um it's got you know it has these hinges on um with the with the funny screw head things um and well apart from having to replace it it's a real pain that it's uh, 110 quid for one piece of glass 110 pounds and i bet that's plus delivery so it's going to, probably going to be about 120 quid, 130 quid, which is really, really annoying. Um, <clears throat> apart from that, <clears throat> I said to Andy, oh God, this is, this is probably the worst decision I've ever made about <laughs> getting the same cooker because um, the tap here is made for uh, motorhome water supplies which apparently are 12 mil so it has 12 12 mil um what are called john guest fittings push fit so take 12 mil plastic pipe and almost nowhere <laughs> sells 12 mil pipe it's like um, and plus, all the water pipe in the boat is 15. It's standard 15mm um, uh, plastic push-fit pipe. So I've got, down the back of there, I've got two 15mm pipes with stops on the end to stop the water spewing out. And I'm hopefully waiting for um, some 12mm to 15mm converters and some... Uh, 12 mil motorhome pipe coming. It's a real blooming nightmare, really. Uh, <laughs> but but it is it is what it is. Um, so you know, just just we need to get on with it. But you know, we're 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 coming along. We're coming along. Um, something else that uh, you haven't seen just yet is uh i built we had we had a load of old crap uh, piled up here and we still have it but uh i built a shelf um so just put some put some wood up um and some shelves on we have a big mirror as well <laughs> um so uh but that's gonna, that's going to allow us to organize a lot better Let's just switch you around that way. So um, we've still not sorted out, really, because what uh, there's a lot of wood here from from taking things out. This uh, 
This <laughs> was part of the old kitchen unit, um, which we're sort of um, cutting up and burning on the, on the log burner. And any other old wood we have is going on the burner because uh, kindling, it, make, it makes good kindling because I use an axe to sort of chop it into little bits. Um, so it makes good kindling and um, kindling is about, kindling is about six or seven pounds a bag. And uh, okay, that lasts quite a long time, but we're still, you know, we've not had to buy any kindling for a couple of weeks now. So that's good. So it's probably saved us about 15 quid. Um, yeah, so I think the kitchen's coming on all right. Now, the other, the other problem we had with the kitchen was that um, we've got the, the long run of worktop going there which will go beyond this halogen oven, big, go beyond there and make a breakfast bar that side. And we'll have an oven here. Um, and you'll see an oven in place beyond the tripod there. Um, and we went for a Smeg oven, so sort of nice quality uh, Smeg oven, but <laughs> <coughs> it took ages to get it in because it had to come in through the side hatch. wouldn't fit through that door. It'd come in through the side hatch. So I couldn't keep all the packaging, threw it away. Got the instruction book out. Unusual for me, but I'd got the instruction book out. And um, just reading casually through some sort of preamble. And it said, <laughs> do not install this appliance in a boat or a caravan. Hmm. So I phoned up, I phoned up the supplier and they checked with Smeg and they said, well, it's not been tested in, in that environment. So no. <laughs> so what they've done, they've agreed to take it back and supply us with one where they say, yeah, it's fine. You can fit it. <laughs> so they've got to take this back. No packaging. Luckily, <coughs> I hadn't undone anything else. <coughs> I hadn't taken any of the protective um, wrapping off and I'd only done, done the uh, internal packaging enough to get the instruction book out. But there you are. They're taking that back and they provide us with a, what's called a CDA, I've never heard of them, but there you go. Seem, seem all right, I've seen them in the shop. Seem all right, um, but that'll, that'll be fine. We've had all the gas fittings done um, that's all, that's all done gas safe. I had a gas safe engineer. Thank you, Pete. Um, <laughs> to, to come and do that. And, uh, he's fitted, uh, right over to, to the, to that point there. So it's just a question of plugging the gas cooker in when it arrives. So all good. Um, yeah, so that's it about the kids. A bit of a, bit of a pain in the ass, as they say, um, to, to get a replacement for that. And what? I'm. I don't know. I had thoughts last night of maybe replacing it with something else. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't break, and maybe taking that off and replacing it with something else as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe some nice shiny stainless steel with a with a hole in i don't know yeah maybe these are, these have little grab holes um like that hmm. put your finger in lift it up could go it could go stainless steel at least it wouldn't smash um stainless steel is probably quite expensive though <laughs> anyway um that's it for this little quick update. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, kids is coming on well. Uh, all the other DIYs coming on well. That shelf's got to be painted along with all the walls. We've got stuff in the bedroom going on. Oh. And we're in a right old mess and a pickle because we've got tools out all over the place. No storage place, you know. Um, we're supposed to have little storage areas underneath the other side of 
the um, breakfast bar but that's not there yet and the sofa's pushed too far up this way so we've got to move that down that way anyway i'll see you again soon bye bye for now